the carbon dioxide bathtub. We're going to use En-ROADS to explore the complex relationship between emissions of carbon dioxide, removals from the atmosphere of carbon dioxide, and then the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We'll do it using En-ROADS and focusing on this first graph. So the graph that I want you to look at is here in impacts, the CO2 concentration measured in parts per million carbon dioxide. This is the stuff that is collected in the atmosphere that is trapping heat and causing the problem. The other graph to look at is the inflow and the outflow um, of emissions and removals. So the top red line is the burning of CO2. It's going up into the atmosphere, burning coal, oil, and gas um, into the atmosphere. Excuse me. The burning of coal, oil, and gas and forests and the emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The blue line is CO2 removals, what's going into the oceans and into biomass. It's measured in gigaton CO2 per year. Very important. It is a rate. It is a flow rate. Now, these three variables are related and really simply they behave a lot like a bathtub. So consider it this way that it's like a bathtub where the concentration in the atmosphere is like the water in the bathtub. The inflow is like the faucet flowing water in. Removals is what's flowing out into oceans and into biomass. Where are we right now with the relationship of these three? Let's go back and look at the graph. So look in 2021. It looks like the red line is about double or so the blue line. So that means the inflow to the bathtub is about double the outflow. If you've got a bathtub with double flowing in what's flowing out, what is the level of water in that bathtub doing? Of course, it's going up. So look at the graph on the right. CO2 concentration in 2021 is rising. It behaves like a bathtub. Now, most people think, well, what would happen if we were to just level out emissions. Wouldn't that do what we really need to do, which is to have CO2 concentration flatten at least? Now, what we really need to do is that concentration to flatten and then fall. Project Drawdown, our colleagues, is built around drawing down the level of CO2 in the atmosphere. Wouldn't it be true, and most people do think, if we were to just flatten CO2 in the atmosphere, concentrations flatten, well, let's try it. I'm going to put in some policies. It doesn't really matter which policies, but here they come. We're going to come up with policies that roughly, right there, the emissions are roughly flat over time, right? But look over on the right. CO2 concentration in the blue line still going up. Wait, this is flat? That's going up. What is going on? Well, think about it as a bathtub. Look over on the left again. The inflow is greater than the outflow. The red line is above the blue line. If you have more flowing into a bathtub than is flowing out for the whole century, of course, CO2 continues to rise. This shows us why, as you'll see, it's necessary to reduce emissions significantly. Now, to what point do you have to reduce emissions in order to get the level of water in the bathtub or the CO2 concentration to be flat? Well, look at the bathtub again. If you want the level of water in the bathtub to be flat, the emissions, the inflow, needs to equal the outflow. They need to be the same. So let's make that happen. Watch as we increase the carbon price and the red line of emissions comes down closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the red, the blue line. And we're going to have some other actions in these other areas and then finally boom in what year what is that about 2080 it looks like the inflow and the outflow of the bathtub are the same the emissions equals removals in 2080 look over on the right 2080 we can see that concentration is finally flat because it behaves like a bathtub now that's not all we want we actually want those concentration to be flat and then go down to do that, I'm going to try some other things. We could remove, we could reduce emissions more, or we could boost removals. We can push CO2 removals up, the blue line up. So what if we grow more trees? 
it goes up. What if we have some technological carbon removals? Then we get to the point where in 2045 it's flat, but after that the outflow exceeds the inflow, so you have the level of water in the bathtub coming down. You have emissions lower than removals, so the concentration starts coming down. That's why we have to reduce emissions so much, perhaps increase removals some as well, in order to get the concentration to flatten and level. And this is why the bathtub analogy is such a powerful way to look at the relationship between these variables. It is the perfect analogy for understanding these dynamics. Hope this is helpful. Go get them.